Ladies and gentlemen, Balo Balo Fitness <laughs> here with the infamous Glenn. Look at that. Hey, we're here at the vitamin shop. Let's check it out. Look at that. Yeah, sure. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Man, someone went balls deep in him. How's it going? Pretty good. How about yourself? Uh, maybe we're looking. Uh, we're looking to do like the pre-workout thing and the protein. Okay. See if you can help us on that. Like, what does it do for you and stuff? Okay. Uh, we'll start the pre-workout first. Let's do it. And that's gonna be hiding over here. There's a bunch of options, a bunch of routes to go at the pre-workout. Uh, most of them are just gonna be a lot of stimulants. Like what is a stimulant? Like what's caffeine, all caffeine? Some of them have other ones. Uh, these are all our pre-workouts. Number one seller is probably Jack. Okay. What and all, are these all like legal to take? Yeah. None of uh, like any steroids in them or anything? No. No. Okay. There's no. A lot of these won't have the test any sort of testosterone booster. Nothing. Okay. All they're going to be is you got your creatine. They usually have a little bit of creatine in them. They help with uh, muscle energy. And they also have arginine. Which is an amino acid to help with uh, what it does is dilate all your blood vessels so you get more oxygen to the muscle faster. Uh, obviously, caffeine is basically just powdered motivation if you think about it. Uh, the Jack specifically has another stimulant called 1,3 dimethyl. Okay. And it's just another stimulant. Just speed things up, get you going. Cool. And let me give you some other options. C4 is another one. Uh, C4 also has caffeine, but it also has another stimulant called synephrine. Okay. You don't mind if I get you on video D is, is for, for, okay. Yeah, you don't mind okay. one bit. I'll just give you your options here. Uh, another one's Assault by Muscle Farm. And like I said, all these are going to have your creatine in it. Uh, beta alanine, which is a amino that delays your lactic acid response. You know, when you're working out and you get that pump, it starts to get painful. Right. Uh, movement's a little bit restricted. It delays that. Okay. Yeah, so. So pretty much you'd be able to work out longer with it. Yeah, just okay. as far as endurance, energy. Okay. So, like, if, if I had to pick one today, because these look like some pretty good prices. Uh-huh. If I had to pick one today, what would you recommend? Jack. Out of, Jack? That's my personal favorite. Okay. Uh, for that price also. Okay. 30 bucks, and you look at some of the others. I mean, Assault's 27 uh, It just doesn't hit like a brick like Jack does. Uh, C4's 32 Same thing. Doesn't hit like a brick. Okay. I mean, if you want powder motivation and stuff to, you know, kind of heal the muscle, get it going. Uh, Jack's the way to go. And what's like, uh, how big are the serving sizes for the Jack? They tell you one scoop, but a lot of people do one to three. Is it like real small? The baby scoops. Baby yeah. scoops, kind of like a... Uh... Teaspoon if that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they tell you start off with one scoop, and even then you're paying 30 bucks. Oh, there's 45 scoops in here, roughly. Okay. I might have to pick that up today. What's uh the Jack 3D Micro? Uh, that 1,3 dimethyl is a pretty good stimulant. Obviously, it's legal. There's nothing wrong okay. with it. Uh, some people are still afraid of it. So to kind of make up for that, they released another product called the Micro. And that just doesn't have the... It just doesn't have that 1,3 dimethyl. There's other minor stimulants in it now. Uh, they're selling that to us as more of an endurance blend. Okay. But basically, same idea there. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what about like the protein powders? What's What do them really do for you? Uh, just heal the muscle. And I'll show you what we got. Whey protein is the best one. The whey protein? Yeah, the human body just tends to like that a little better. And I'm going to show you our straight whey right over here. Optimum Nutrition, 100% whey. Uh, it's a blend of different whey powders, uh, whey blends, I should say. You got uh, whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate. Uh, look at the back there. Just one gram fat, three grams carbs, one gram sugar, but 24 grams of protein in one scoop. Okay. And all this is, is after you work out, any sort of exercise, uh, the muscle tissue is hungry, your body takes the protein powder, breaks it down into aminos to help it recover and help it uh, heal, get bigger. Cool. So, like, pretty much if I take protein workout, I'm going to get bigger. Yeah. What, generally, what you need to do is take how much you weigh. If you're looking to put on size, you need to get a gram of half of protein to two grams. 
uh, per pound you weigh. Per pound? Okay. Yeah, so you weigh 200, you want to get around 400 grams of protein a day. Okay, so is it like take all this as my protein or like, because I know chicken has protein and stuff? Yeah, or? just, you know, this is just, that's why these are called supplements. They supplement your everyday diet. So pretty much if I can't eat all my protein, then just take this like yeah, if instead? You, if you try to down 400 grams of protein, which is right. normal food, it's, it's going to be it's a, rough. Okay. And that's where these all come into play. I also had another question. I, sure. I've been hearing about the the branch uh, chain amino acids, the BCAAs. Yeah. What what really do them help you with? Because I know like a lot of bodybuilders use them too. So yeah, the mindset there is, is with the oh we have tons of amino bones over there. When you do the protein powders, your body has to take the protein, break it down to get the aminos. Okay. When you do the free form amino powders, they're free form, so the body absorbs it a lot faster. It doesn't have to play with it too much okay is that more of the pre or post workout that one you can either do an intro like uh -huh. during your workout or you can do it immediately after okay yeah, a lot of studies say if you just do your aminos right after a workout or towards the end mm -hmm. shoot home from the gym drive home then do your protein powder that's okay what they say is ideal so is this your uh, protein powder of, of choice that you would or do you take protein yourself or? yeah the only reason i recommend this one is how light it is okay 24 grams of scoop and you can't beat that price 30 scoops in here for 26 bucks okay uh, obviously, there's the Body Tech brand here. Same thing, 24 grams protein. Uh, it is a dollar cheaper. Flavor and taste wise, this one just tends to be a little more universally accepted. Okay. Cool. So, pretty much out of the gold standard is the go to, then maybe the Body Tech. Yeah. All right. So, we go. There's, other, there's other variations. I mean, we got protein powers that are just, uh, there's different time release ways. There's casein, which is a slower release protein okay for like before bed or throughout the day uh we have that but this as far as protein blends and whey it's probably going to be one of the best options you can get all right what if i do like a late workout and then mm -hmm. was that that casein you say like before bed is that like the best thing or yeah, what if right i over here i'll just you take a gander at that okay what if I like miss the protein and don't eat anything or don't take any protein after like a late night workout and go to bed? Is it like my muscles going to get like eaten by my body or something from no nutrients? Well, the or? first things the body goes after when it's hungry is the muscle tissue. Is the muscle tissue? Yeah, you okay. You that to get the nutrients it needs. So obviously there's not a whole lot of nutrients in just normal body fat. Right. So whenever it goes into starvation, starvation mode, it usually goes right after the muscle tissue. Okay. But casein... These are your, just your normal casings, and actually price-wise, uh, Elite XT's Extended Release Protein by Dimatize, 38 bucks for four and a half pounds. And then uh, this is like a casing blend. There's a milk casing, whey protein casing. Uh, you look at the back here, also low in fat, a little higher in carbs, but still zero sugar, and 21 grams protein in a scoop. Okay. So if you just do the one scoop for 21 grams, 61 servings for only 38 bucks. That's pretty good then. Yeah, that's tough to be. Plus, it actually tastes pretty good too, to be honest with you. Definitely. Usually with the cases, you get a you get a little chalky taste to it, but with their flavorings, they actually, they do it right. And they mix pretty well, everything? This one takes a little bit more, but it'll still mix fine. Okay. Yeah, like I said, the casings tend to be a little chalkier. Okay. But they mix fine. You Dustin, mean? I appreciate you. Yeah, anytime, dude. You did pretty anytime. good. I appreciate it, man. That's what we're here for. You guys heard it first here. So if you guys need your supplements, everything like that, come to the vitamin shop. Until next time, bail out.